personality smirsonality. Today, I'm going to actually talk with you about a personality test that is the only one you need to know because it actually will help you in your relationships. I have some questions for you. Hey, brave girl. Welcome to the Brave Talk Show, where we connect with brave women like yourself to laugh, to cry, and to roar about the topics near and dear to our hearts. In today's episode, we dive deep into my favorite personality test, the DISC Profile. It's a powerful episode, so if you like it as much as we think you will, smash that subscribe button so that you can connect with us on future episodes as well. Today, we're going to dive deep into personality profiles, but first, we are going to do our favorite segment, Truth or Dare, ah! which I have prepared and planned, and I'm very excited about. So, that is the anxiety. We're going to get there. through it, and you just go and pick it. So we're going to start with Robin, who is our bravest <laughs> of all. Truth or Dare? Truth. Ha. Okay, truth. I always do dare. Truth. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, that what was weird. items are in the top drawer of your bedside oh. dresser? Well, I actually don't have a side dresser with a drawer. It's like mm -hmm. this cute little metal table. Okay. So I don't keep probably the things you're wanting out of me, but there's Sorry. typically usually a vibrator, my phone charger, and a journal. Oh. But you keep your vibrator out in the open? Yeah, I probably should put that away. <laughs> Are kids allowed in your room? <laughs> yes. I, like I'm saying, I don't have a drawer, but sometimes we'll catch it on there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Vanessa, truth or dare? Well, I just moved. And I don't have a side thing either because our bed has like the backboard that has like the Jordan and the little cubicle oh. thing. So it's really cool. Yeah. So over there I have, let's see, I got my AirPods. I got my, I'm trying to think, a book, a journal, like the Remarkable journal yeah. that she gave me. So and what book this. is in there? And I read on my candle, so I don't have books. And then my, my scriptures are right there. Good job. Uh, my little head it. thing. And in my water. I drink water throughout the night and I have my cup. I love that. Because I am a water person. All right, Brittany. Are you going to do truth or dare? Oh, for sure, truth. <laughs> truth, yeah. yeah. Everyone's the doing the truth. I, I stick with the truth. Dare. Mine you should have done a boring. I just know. kidding. Um, my nightstand drawer is there's like five books in there. There's a few journals. Because I have different journals for different things. Like I have a gratitude journal, I have a journal where like I vent about you mainly my journal. husband mm -hmm. <laughs> really? um, and then I have That's like just funny. a regular journal that like I put regular life events when I'm not emotional like like mad. documentation like yeah. today we went to this you know yeah. okay um, I can tell you right now that I write more in my venting journal than I do with my <laughs> <laughs> um, and I have like Four bottles of Coconut. <laughs> yes, oh, that's the we best. just we just moved too, and so going through my, I'm like, why do I have these? Are all like half empty? I need to consolidate. <laughs> anyway, so there's like four in there, and then I have my AirPods. I have stamps. I think I have some cash, and that's probably it. That's a good sized drawer. Yeah, it is a big drawer. It is yeah. a big drawer. I need so a big drawer. when you um, when you write in your vent like your venting journal is is your husband right there next to you <laughs> laying in bed when you like vigorously write? I'll be like crying. <laughs> <laughs> He's just over there on, like watching sports. I'm like, no I can't idea. believe it. I love I it. Have no idea. You're full venting. All right. <laughs> I love it. Well, we're now going to jump in into the heart of our episode, which I actually I am mean, now that we're talking about it, I can see I can see the psychology of what's in your top drawer and how it's fitting here. But we're going to be talking about the heart of our episode, which is uh, the only personality profile that you need. I have taken them all. I minored. I minored. I know it's not like you know, a major, but I did minor in psychology. So I've always had like an interest in that kind yeah, of stuff. And picture. this is the only one that I've ever taken that I have found useful and that I, it makes, it, it's not so complicated. Like some of these that are like, just like 12 different types and there's four different categories and all the 12 types. And you're like, which one is which? It's, it's understandable. Once you get it, you can read people. Like if you get to know them enough, you can go, okay, this person is this type. And then once you know that, you're able to kind of anticipate how to talk to them and how to work with them to, so that there's harmony, right? That it, that it works because you kind of know where they, how, they, how they react, how they, how they do things. So this can help with your marriage. Mm -hmm. It can help with 
how you respond to your children and raise your kids. It can help with your friendships, work environment, all of that. So I'm super excited about it. So before we did this episode, um, I had all of you brave ladies take took a test. Your, the test. Here we go. And I asked that you did not look at the results. Um, and but that you had to share you had to sh share it with me because I wanted to see first of all did I peg you right? <laughs> um, second, I also wanted to spend a little bit of time like looking at what I know about it to be able to like just share with you guys some things that like you know about about yourself that you can yeah. go oh my gosh that makes yeah. sense. But I wanted to first see if we could guess a bit about okay. what it is. So I'm going to share a couple of of things about this. So DISC was come it came up in, or was created in 1928 by a psychologist. So a whole bunch of theories behind it. Boring stuff. Who cares? Okay. The biggest thing is this, it's four categories. We all have elements of each one. Okay, so basically it measures you on your elements of like your dom dominance, um, influence, um, your need for steadiness um, and compliance. And every one of us has every part to a certain degree, but most people are gonna be heavy in one, maybe two categories. So where that one seems to dominate most of you know your decision making and how you respond to things. It doesn't mean that you're not any of the other ones, they're just gonna be to a lesser degree. So when you take it, it typically will give you, if you're a pure, if you're like, you are really strong in one, it'll just give you one letter. Mm -hmm. And that's all that's saying is that you're predominantly that one, that's like your big one. Sometimes you'll get two letters and the first one is your, bit, your most dominant one and then your second one is like a runner up, right? Again, the other two, it doesn't mean that the other two aren't in there. They're just not in there to as great of a degree. Okay. So a couple of things that I want to share about it, and then I'm going to see if we can do some guessing. Uh, D-I-S-C. Okay. So the D personality and the I personality share a couple of things in common. Okay. The D tends to, and the I tend to be more extroverted people. Okay. The D, the words are like, that would characterize a D would be like a very direct person, um, a little bit more maybe, uh, they're more like managerial. They're very like efficient, get things done kind of people, okay? We got Rob over here. <laughs> yeah. And they tend to be also Label pioneering because they like to get things done <laughs> and they are, they're very confident in themselves. They're not afraid of failure and they're willing to get things done and if they mess up, fine. Oh, yeah. You're willing may need, may need to do it. Now the <laughs> I, they also are extroverted but they tend to be more focused on inspiring and motivating people to do and to be their best. So they lead in two different ways. A D personality and an I are, are, are typically leaders, okay? But they do it in a different way. The D is like, I know the answer. I know how to get it done. I'm going to let you guys know what to do. Now go ahead and do it. That's my husband. Okay. The I 100%. is like, I have a lot of ideas. I want to talk about it. And you guys are so awesome. And you guys should <laughs> totally do it. And, you know, it, it, you're going to be great. And that person just really into getting people to be, to want to follow, right? So it's more through like inspiration <laughs> and motivation that that person leads. Now, they're opposite in this sense. The D personality tends to see a lot of the problems in the world and they know how to fix it. Okay. Mm. The I person tends to not see a lot of problems in the world. They might, I mean, they're not like, not like not unrealistic, but they tend to like the world and they want to be a part of it and they want to just inspire it and make it even better than it already is in, in most of that sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those are those kind of two big pieces there. Then we have the S and the C. The S and the C types are a little bit more introverted. Okay. The mm -hmm. S is similar to the, to the I in that they're very, more, they're much more people oriented. The S is very into like steady, safe, um, what are some other words that might describe, a, 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 you know, um, empathizing. They might have a smaller collection of friends, but they're more like wanting to focus on those relationships. Um, they're a little bit more on like a, a softer spoken, maybe allowing other people mm. in the group to make decisions uh, because they want to just, they want to keep it to, you know, camaraderie and, and, that, and that people person. The C person, even though they're a little bit more introverted, um, they are more focused on the details. They, they're, they're really good at getting things done, paperwork, you know, the details, making sure everything is correct. They're a little more cautious. See, think of the word cautious, right? They also like, they know the rules. They like to make people make sure that they follow the rules. They're very conscientious. They want to make sure that everything is, the, you know, good for everyone. Um, and so they're also more likely to give in in a situation if there's conflict as well because, um, 
of that, that desire for compliance, that desire for, um, for being conscientious of others, right? So those are the extremes. Now, some people will have an extreme in one of them. Some people will have a, a couple that are there. Did any of us have an extreme? Did you recognize yourself <laughs> in any one of them and go, yeah, that's definitely me? Yeah. I did. Okay. And then I want to hear what you guys think. And then I'm going to share with you what your guys' re results were. And then we'll talk a little bit more about some of the, some of the details inside so you can kind of see, like, oh, does that make sense or not? Okay. So, Brittany, you were thinking Robin was a D, and then you switched, right? Or were you thinking Robin was the D? I think she's the D. Mm -hmm. And what is it about with it? With some I. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Vanessa, what did, what did you I think, think Robin? I think you're a D too. <clears throat> See? Yeah. Big old D. <laughs> okay. It's better so, than being a B. <laughs> yes. I, I placed Robin as an I prior to us taking this test. Um, and the reason why is because um, she's obviously very outgoing. Um, but I also notice, um, and, and she's funny, yeah, and she's lively, all that I. stuff. And, and again, mm -hmm. D, a D is outgoing too, so I'm not saying that. But there's a fun, loving, like, like a, there's a fun together, side about her. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, but also, when we do talk about the show and we come up with ideas and so forth, I find that you t you tend to not be as like this is the way I think it should be done. You kind of go along with you. That. You tend sure. to be more of like I love your idea. You know, like you're very mm -hmm. like. Going back to that motivating side and, and not necessarily like having very strong opinions yourself yeah. about the way things should yeah. be done. Um, and guess what? Guess what I scored as, She guys. scored a pure eye. A pure yeah. eye. Now, now, does that not mean? Yeah, yeah. I did I say. I can see that. I can yeah. see that. I did say she could. Wow. I was like, okay, I think you're a pure eye, but like you might have a little D. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, that, and really, the only reason why is because she's a serial entrepreneur. And I'm like, you got to have some D in you. Yeah. You know, like yeah. do all of that. But I it didn't like show up on the done. test. Yeah. And it doesn't mean that you don't have that. It just, yeah. the eye was so strong yeah. that it just overrides that D. Aww, so. Nice. That is so cool. Yeah, all right. I, okay. You're so influential. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. So we're going to go into some of the details here a little bit more. But um, Vanessa, which one do you think that you placed strongest in? I think I'm a D in my professional in my home. Mm -hmm. Around people I really know. Mm -hmm. And then what do you girls think? Do you guys agree that she's more of a D? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys were right. She is a D, a D, and she has a little bit of C in her, too. Okay. And you know where I see that? True. Is because, like, if you're going to be a social worker, I imagine there's a lot of paperwork, and not a lot of personalities can handle that. But yeah. it, you have a personality that could handle the details of, like, writing all of the records Document and making sure everything. everything's documented. Yeah. Also, prior to um, us getting even onto this episode, like, preparing for today, <laughs> you were also, I could see you were preparing. Mm -hmm. Whereas, I like, Robin, for example, she's perfectly fine showing up and flying by the seat of her pants. Tell, I never prepare. Tell them. I'm so sorry. I'm always like, hey, guys, what time tomorrow? And what are our topics? And then I show up. Because you're an I. And okay. that's just, you yeah. fly by the seat of your pants. Yep. You're going to, and you know, you can rely on, you your, on your wit yeah. and your up. intelligence yeah, was, that you're going to get through it. It's going to yeah, be fun. Exactly. And it's going to be fun. Yep. Right? Where Vanessa's going to spend a little bit more time preparing, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, making sure she's got all of her stuff in place and so forth to make that episode looking good. Now, I did mention the C, and I, that was the other thing I was thinking, is the fact that we're even on this show. Like, I was thinking, there's no way that any one of us could be pure introverts as a host for this show. Like, right. we're either, all of us going to have to have either some D or some, or some I uh -huh. in us. Or we wouldn't um, be here. Otherwise, we wouldn't even be here. Why would we even want to be on a talk show? We right. want to influence people. We want to change the world, right? Right, right, right. Um, in some way, shape, or form. But that C softens your, your personality a little bit so you're not so extroverted and high energy. Like, it, really it tones you down a little bit yeah. more, right? So, so that's yeah. why I find, like, you're a little bit more softer <laughs> spoken than yeah. some of us here. You know, we got to turn the mic up a little bit more on, on your voice, and that's where that C comes in. Knows. <laughs> Okay. That's crazy how accurate this thing is. I know, right? And it gets, it gets even better. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you guys some things that you can do like when you're working with somebody of a certain type, like what to do and what not to do in order to make sure that that relationship and what you're doing together is really, um, is really helpful. Okay, Brittany, what do you think you are? Ooh, I think I'm probably an S. Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't <laughs> be on the show if you didn't have a little <clears throat> I in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm probably S and I. So which one do you think is your dominant, your I or your S? Probably an I. Mm -hmm. Her I. All right, what do you guys think? Yeah. Her I. I. See? Yeah. It totally works. And it's so true. You scored an IS. 
You scored an eye. I know myself is so well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the eye is that inspirational mm. side of her. She wanted to create this show. She wanted to, she, this is the year of the woman. She wants to inspire women. She wants to connect, you know. And that, that other side of her, that sweet side that we all love about mm -hmm. her, that's that S in her, right? Yeah. It's, uh, it's, you know, words like... Um, you said empathy. Thoughtful, empathetic. That, that's one of my... She's a little calmer, right? She's not a pure I. She's not, she's a little toned down, right? I'm that's the, that S. I'm the toned down version of Robin. Yeah. Right, right? <laughs> she's a sweet version um, of Robin. <laughs> she's a good listener, right? Like, that's part of, part of the S type because you, you really like that... Um, that small group type of um, yeah. relationships mm -hmm. versus like standing on stage and having like the whole audience, which would be more of a pure eye. There might be some of that in you, but that S is the one that like really brings you down. Um, here's one that's interesting. First of all, what do you guys think I am? Oh, I think you're red. You've got I in you for sure. You got I for sure. I see. I see. And no, I think she got some D in her. <laughs> no, I can What? K. Yeah. I K. Which one's worse? There's the K. No K. Oh. Yes. <laughs> This. <laughs> I what personality profile are we doing again? Yeah. Or a Z Y. <laughs> R2 D2, actually. Okay. No, I think you're a D because uh, here you mm. just make it all happen. I think you're an I and a D because you kind of like. That's true. I D. I yeah. see the, a little bit of the D in there. Well, I maybe I do have some D in there, done. but it didn't show up on the personality. Mm, okay. And I've taken this test. I've tried, guys. I've tried. You tried getting a D? <laughs> I've tried doing it different ways. Like, I'm in a different mood right now. Let me take the test again, see if that changes it. Every freaking time I take the test, it doesn't matter if I'm in a good mood or bad mood or what, I always score an IS or really? maybe an SI. Okay. I should have okay. known that because you and I have the most, like, we're more common as far as like our opinions yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. We sync more. We sync you more and I over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't know what you guys We got some weird stuff happening. Now here's the weird thing. I'm an IS, I think, like uh, my authentic self um, is an IS. But when I'm around my husband, who's a very strong D, very strong, I, I switch. I switch to the SI. Mm. And the reason why, I think, is because, first of all, the strong D type, um, you know, is it, 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 if you're very strong, like you can be very, you know, like very opinionated, very strong, I'm right, and this is how it's done. And that S in me, if I didn't have the S, it would be, it, we'd probably be fighting all the time. Yeah. But the S in me, which, which, which um, which likes stability, right? Doesn't like a lot of extreme, uh, likes mm -hmm. harmony, very, loss of harmony is like a big fear of the S. Like I need things to be like safe oh, and steady. So, so I have a venting journal, right? Because that's what keeps my marriage healthy because I keep it all in here and I don't- They both have I venting journals. Yeah, I don't Damn. get it I out, right? It. Yeah, They're because twins. it keeps our marriage yeah. good and healthy. I don't have to, and I, it's better than having a bloody lip from biting it so many oh, times, yeah. you know? Um, I so I end up switching to that, yeah. that S side of me. Okay, you know what's what I do. so here's some interesting things. You guys are probably healthier. Things. No, <laughs> we need a journal. Yeah. Write it down. Yeah. If Talk you- too much are once you figure this out, you'll start being able to know like what types work. So like in our business, for example, we are, we're working on hiring a couple of people um, to help us with our website, right? So we had this woman that we were hiring and it was really frustrating because every, we would ask her like, we need you to build this landing page, make it please look like this. Um, and you know, like it needs to be done, right? She would respond with a bunch of questions and then it wouldn't get done because she's waiting on us to answer the questions. And what we realized was she's an S, a, like a pure S, because a pure <laughs> S asks a lot of questions. I thought you said that too. She's I thought an you said an S. No, I'm an like, S. That's what I thought you said. Yeah, I was she like, was, okay, not okay. That. An S, <laughs> an S is going to ask a lot of questions <laughs> because they want to make sure like, that okay. they understand. They're not, they're not the D personality that just get it done and I don't care if I fail. An S, if they fail, that's like, awful they don't want to fail like and they don't want to get their feelings hurt so they want to make sure that they have everything that they understand they got the big picture so that they can make the right decisions and do it in a way that'll make you happy well we don't need an s type so, so what we realized was when we hire for this position i can't have an s i need a c or a d because so you're saying like a d, a d, is gonna d get it done. can't really be managing an s because the d will be hurting s They'll feelings hurt all the, the time s's feelings. see yeah. that's what i do or you marry a d and then you get a journal yep. or you marry a d and then you get a divorce well the i <laughs> The I is what the I is what I think helps also because there is that side of me that's very attractive to like us having big dreams and doing things that make a difference in the world, right? But that S, yeah, if I was a pure S, 
and my husband was a pure D, there's no way, I don't yeah. even think we would have made it through the first date. So is it kind of like the opposites? Like yeah, an like S the C D and, and the I S would together. be complete opposite, I and C. So these ones are similar similar in that they're more outgoing. Like these are more similar in that nine. they're uh, in, more introverted. These are more similar in that a D and a C both see the world as a, like there's problems in the world and they can fix it. Uh, or I'm sorry, the D says they can fix it. The C says they can't fix it. it. The world sucks and there's nothing you can do about it. That's a pure C. <laughs> the I it's and the like S ER. see the world in a positive light. The I wants to be a part of it, wants to inspire it. The S says the world is great. I just would love my little circle of friends and I'll enjoy my little life, mm -hmm. right? So those are kind of those big parts of that psychology. Well, I'm DS, that makes sense. You're actually a DC, but DC? I do see some S in you too. Yeah, but your like, test like showed more of the, live, the yeah. C. Um, and I think that S part of you is that part that sees the, the good. But, you know, think about it. You're a social worker. Mm -hmm. You see, you did that because you see the problems in the world and you want to fix it. That's the That's D in you, sense. right? Yeah. The D in you wants to fix it. But unfortunately, because of the, the problems that you see in the world as a social worker, um, it might also bring in some of this, like, and some of it just, I don't know if it can be fixed, you know, like. You can't it, adopt every true. child. Yeah, you yeah, can't adopt every true. child, right? Yeah. So those are the big ones. But when you're looking at your kids, guys, and you see, for example, oh, that gosh. you have a D personality as a, as a oh. child. I've got, I've got a D personality. So Me I too. know that she likes to take charge. So I'm trying to give her more opportunities to, to lead and to do Is things. that your girl? That's my, my That's girl. That's my girl, too. Today she got mm -hmm. taken out of school. Right. She was a but D she also, today. because she's a D, oh, <laughs> she needs... They, I need to be a little tougher yeah. with her too yep. because she, yep. like the other one, yeah, like yep. she needs it. She won't comply unless, because get hard. a yep. D is motivated by power and authority. Yep. Competition, she loves to win, yep. right? She wants to win. That makes sense. So I let me share a couple of these things with you guys so you guys can be thinking mm -hmm. about your own yeah, kids, your husbands, uh, friendships, those types of things. Um, are we the, gonna put a link to this quiz? As yeah, well? yeah, yeah. There's so it. many out there. We took the crystal. I think it was called like crystal, crystal, crystal something. Uh, crystal something. It's in the description box. Most of them you have to pay for all the big results, though. So I'm just gonna let you know. Like, we if you do a free, free one, you'll get like a simple answer. If you really want to dig into it, understanding it, you can dig, and there's enough free resources out there. You could figure it out. But if you want to keep it easy, take your test, get it all split out. You can, and then if you have a business, you can even get an account. And that's what we're doing, is we're now having all of our potential contractors take the disc so that we can better see, like, as, as their application pro smart. process, so like, are, do you that's fit really the type smart. that'll do a good job? Because right. I can't have you asking a bunch of questions and not getting it done. I need you to do it, and maybe you'll, you'll do a crappy job, but at least it got done, and then we can work with what you did. Right. And you don't want to fire can, people after, too. Right. Yeah. So I yeah. want to kind of know ahead of time, right? Yeah. That's but, great. like, the D personality is being motivated by, motivated by power and authority, competition, winning, and success. So if you want to motivate your kids or your husband <laughs> and they're a D-type, competition, winning, success, right? Now, here's their fears. Loss of control, being taken advantage of, yeah. vulnerability. They don't want to show their vulnerability. A D personality, is they're, they're concerned about that, right? Because they don't want anybody to, to take advantage of them. Um, they're going to be a little bit more blunt. If you fight them, they're, they're going to be more inclined to insist on their own way rather than give in. Okay? That's just the way that that personality type is. I'm having is. trauma right now. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, how to talk with a D personality. Be direct with them. Um, I, the S in me, I like in the I. I love all the details. I want to tell my husband, okay, so before I tell you like what the big result was, I want to, I want to give him like the backstory, like oh gosh. how it happened. And let me guess, you. he doesn't want to know the big details. You're, you're the me. D. You're like, that's please, too much. Like, cut, please. My, my husband told one of my kids, story. he was like, that's for your mom. Give me the big picture. <laughs> the details are for your mom. Yes. And she uh, was like, I'm like, I don't need all no, this. Exactly. Need, like, yeah. So the D wants the what, not the how. So if you know a D in your life, get to the what as quickly as possible and not the how. Now, the eyes love the how. I love it. Like, the, tell me every story. Yeah, the S's, every detail. We love the how. We I want the it. process. We want to know how it got there, right? Uh -huh. um, for, yeah. for an eye type, you want to make sure to always have social elements brought into their hey, world. They you. thrive in social environments and also giving them an opportunity to share their ideas. Even if you don't use the ideas, let them speak, To tell them to be quiet, to tell them you just need to do what I said and don't ask questions and don't share your ideas. You're going to shut them down. Mm -hmm. They need, they need in their heart of hearts to be able to express themselves. It's how they process. Mm -hmm. And again, 
it doesn't even mean that you have to do everything that they said. Just let them share it, right? That's yeah. important to them and having that, that social environment um, there for them because they thrive in those social environments. They're not one to like want to work at an isolated desk. Mm -hmm. They need people. A C type, perfectly okay sitting at a desk in a cubicle getting things done. They don't need a bunch of people of anything that stresses them out. It's like you guys just I could like, have never them out. married a C. <laughs> Ever. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, your husband being in marketing, like he's a, he, it makes sense that he would be a D, that he's, a, and he's around people as well. I just don't well, think I would right? even be attracted to a C. Think, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, so um, <laughs> a, uh, an I. Opposite. The fears <laughs> that an I have is social rejection, disapproval, loss of influence, and being ignored. Mm. Right? So true. Right? Okay. Those are my don't deepest cry. fears. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm serious. I agree. I've got the eye oh, in me too. Yeah, like, yeah. oh my gosh, right? Um, okay, so for the S, reject you. Reject you. Um, the, the, they're motivated by stable environments. They like to be appreciated. They like cooperation. S's? S's, yeah. But you're also the eye, so don't yeah. forget that, right? So you like social, you like the social stuff too, but you also like that stable environment, sincere appreciation, cooperation, opportunities to help. Fears of an S are loss of stability change, loss of harmony, and offending others. They don't want to offend oh others because they're all about like just people <laughs> yeah. and connection. It's like my right? husband's number one complaint about me where he's like, I can't be frustrated with you. And I'm like, of course you can't. <laughs> like, why would you ever be mad at me? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, you have to only think good things about me. And he's like, I'm going to be mad at you sometimes. Oh like, you have God. to be okay with that. I know. And I'm like, it's so hard. No, we will like, that is the death. I yeah. agree. Yeah. Yeah. Can't be mad. And plus, I'm so good. Why would you be mad at me? <laughs> Right. 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 Well, okay. So this is for your Are husband. You the same way. Can you handle Owen being mad at you? No. Oh my gosh, I feel so okay. validated right now. I want to let you he guys know that my crazy. issues are even deeper. Like I just went to a counselor last week, and he told me that I'm a codependent. So I got issues. Too. I'm a codependent. So. I wonder if a lot of S's are codependent. codependent. That yeah. makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I'm okay. Like, so this is for the husbands of I S's, careless. wives and husbands, people that you know S's. Um, how to connect and like relate to them. Be personable really work on building that rapport. They need to feel safe with you before, like they can really, they wanna connect, but they need to feel safe first, right? Um, give them time to process. My husband will ask me a question, and like some deep question, and then he like wants a response like right away, and I'm like, I, I don't even know what I think yet. Like I'm still trying to process, and so he's really working on trying to, because he's a D. A D, he's got a thought right away, and it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong, he's gonna share it, mm -hmm. where I'm gonna be like, well, I, I wanna think about it, I wanna make sure that I understand it right before I start sharing. Um, okay, I know we're running for time. So C, um, if you're working with a C type of personality, again, they're going to be a little bit more, um, you know, quiet. They're going to be a little more precise, uh, that kind of a thing. Um, not as social, so to speak. But if you're going to talk with them, be prepared, okay? Uh, prepare your case. If you have an argument, if you have something that you need to work with them, like you need to have a case. You can't just share, oh, I feel this. They're going to want to ask for facts. They're going to want to ask for like the data to support what idea you have or what things that you need. Uh, pay attention to the details. Don't be so like um, vague in general. They want specifics. Even if you're critiquing them, like they want specifics, not just like, oh, I didn't like, well, what, what part, right? Like be specific with them so that they can make a good decision and be prepared and, and go ahead and, and make that intelligent decision as well on whether they're leading you or they're following you. It doesn't really matter. Um, remember that the S's and the C's, they're more likely to give in and they're more likely to shut down if you um, you know, berate them with criticism. Um, so just be a little bit more sensitive to them and their energy as far as cr how you critique, okay? So that's the big thing. There's way more, um, but we'll have the link down below so that you can take it. A couple of books. Um, there's a book called um, Different Children, Different Needs. It's a whole book all on how to work with your kids on the DIS profile, oh, which I, I highly that. recommend. Is I don't there know a if there's kids DIS test? Like, yeah, can I, my yeah. Kids you can it? find the disc, you can just look up, you can Google um, disc uh, test for kids. But I think most of us can really like, if your kids are old no, enough, you can kind of figure it out, okay. like based on what, You're what they are. You're not going to know what dubs is. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. All sure. right. So leave us a comment. I'd love to know if you were able to peg yourself based on what we talked about, what are you most likely? Are you a D? Are you an I or an S or a C? Would love to know which one um, you feel like you are. And did you think that this was really like nailing it on the head for you as far as you know, what personality you are and how that works and how to function more with other people. In the meantime, we have a question from our audience. That's our last segment where we're going to answer a question from our audience that they've had and we'll each give like a, a succinct um, answer for it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so the question is, <laughs> 
can I make my ex leave our house? I'm looking for advice. My now ex fiance and I bought a house together in August. He decided to go cheat on me with someone at work. We work opposite shifts. He refuses to leave even though this is all his fault. What are some options I have? Can I evict him even though he's co-owner with me on the house? Jeez. How do I make him leave? Hire right. a lawyer. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna give that one Hire back. <laughs> I have no, I have no idea. idea. I am so sorry. Yeah. Like I would definitely, I mean, if if it's a, I mean, if you can get him to leave and he will, great. Like uh, maybe throw a hissy fit, see how that works. Maybe he will. If he doesn't, then at that point, I it would, sounds like legally. Legally, it becomes house hard house. because it's yeah. both of them on the So house. you have to separate, separate it. Separate first. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, once lawyers, you separate, then you then, can get the law yeah. involved, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that how it works? Yeah, because right now, even if officers show up, they'll be like, he's in the house. We mm -hmm. can't really make him leave. He's not doing anything to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at this point, you probably want to, like, you upstairs, we downstairs if you have that option. Right. Yeah. And trying to leave separate until you guys can separate. And then lives. make an agreement to, like, let's sell this house and, yeah. and not right. make each other miserable right. in the yep. situation, right? right? What's the legal process to separating? So legally, so you have to get your lawyer, or you can even do it yourself, like, you know, but you have to get the court order. Like, we legally separating each other like you know so then once you have that judge signature on it and you both agree on the terms then you're legally separated but until then even unless you have a word of mouth like you can do it each other like agree on something but if she wants legal option she has to go file it to the court oh yeah. girl if you're not safe yes. find somewhere and yes safe if you're not go. safe go somewhere else yeah there's no point let in him stay there. there and you yeah. just take care of yourself mm -hmm. but if it's not a safety issue and he's just this annoying roommate that you're like get out of my house then just, just go through the legal system yeah. and sell that house quickly oh, yes. what a terrible story. yeah, yeah. Sorry. yeah. So keep sorry. us posted for sure yeah, yeah. Uh, for those of else that are watching if you have a question about anything that you'd like advice on you know leave us your question you can either leave it in the comments below if you're watching us on youtube or you can message us on Instagram and we'll be sure to answer it in a future episode. All right, that's a wrap for the episode of the Brave Talk Show. If you're watching us on YouTube, there are more episodes that you will love on that window to the right. And we'll see you on the other side. I have some questions for you. Hey, brave girl, how you